Well, President Trump is pushing forward with his rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma tomorrow, even as the state faces a record high number of coronavirus cases. The Trump campaign and his supporters don't seem to mind the risk, though, viewing it as a way to boost his reelection bid. CBN White House correspondent Ben Kennedy is here now. Ben, how does the campaign plan to keep everybody safe? Well, John, as it turns out, the White House says everyone attending the rally will have their temperature checked. They'll receive a face mask, even offered hand sanitizer. Now, President Trump has not rallied in more than three months, and he's been really eager to get back on the campaign trail. Supporters ready for the president's first campaign rally amid the pandemic. Trump tweeted, big crowds and lines already forming in Tulsa. My campaign hasn't started yet. I really thought this was an important rally for me to go to. It's the ninth one I've been to, but after having been away from rallies for so long. One million tickets requested, 100,000 expected to attend. Supporters traveling from as far as California to a state that is seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases. So we are all on board with going to Oklahoma. We're taking appropriate measures like hand sanitizing and temperature checks and masks being provided at the door. The Oklahoma National Guard was called in to help with security. Trump tweeted, any protesters, anarchists, agitators, looters or lowlifes who are going to Oklahoma, please understand. You will not be treated like you have been in New York, Seattle or Minneapolis. It'll be a much different scene. Mayor Bynum noted um, individuals from organized groups who have been involved in destructive and violent behavior in other states are planning to travel to the city of Tulsa for the purposes of causing unrest in and around the rally. And that was an unacceptable proposition. Uh, we will not see things like what we saw in Minnesota, where rioters lit an auto zone on fire. Now that rally was originally scheduled for tonight on Friday, it is a day that commemorates the end of slavery here in the U.S. And the uh, campaign decided to push it back until tomorrow on Saturday.